short, like I was saying before um, on the last video. Good day everyone, it is Caitlin and today we are examining the hand-woven cord and petticoat that we made. So here it is, all finished up. Um, no sewing to do, it is completely finished. Again, as I said, I think, uh, I think I mentioned it last month that I thought it ended up being a little bit short and it did. Maybe about, about three inches. It's not terribly short. It's just shorter than I would have preferred, but it's not awful. Um, it is starched um, as we did last month, so you can kind of see it sticking out a little bit. I have worn it once. Um, very comfortable. It, um, it's, it has, it's so weird to describe. It's different than the petticoat that I made with the cord sewn in, not woven in in the fact that I got more poof from this, even though this is a thinner material and there's actually less material because I didn't have the sandwiched um, facing with the cords in between, it actually does stick the, the skirts out further, which I thought was very, which I thought was very interesting. So I got the same amount of poof with three petticoats where I would normally typically use four. I just forgot to pack the fourth one. But I got the same or more poof with the three petticoats that I have with the four when I had the other corded petticoats. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, again, would have preferred it to be about three inches longer. However, for what it is, it still gives me the poof. It still gives me the shape. Um, if I were to do this again, um, hopefully by that time I'll have a different loom and maybe could actually really do a fine weaved cloth. Hello. Yeah, kill the chair, kill it. Kill it dead. Not the bottom ribbon, but just kill the chair. Crazy cat. Uh, he chews on my ears all night long, so in reality, this, he just likes to use his teeth. Uh, where were we? We were talking about, um, oh yeah, if I did have a different loom. Hopefully one with foot pedals, that way it goes a lot faster, because I used to have one of those, and that was actually pretty fast to weave on. I don't know why I got rid of that, because I wasn't, I wasn't going to use it. And it was taking a space and I was going to college. Now I really regret that. Um, however, what, for what I had using the rigid held loom, it, it wasn't the ideal choice because you really can't get as fine of a weave as you need to. I mean, the double weaving did work and I mean, it, um, it worked. I mean, I have cloth and it, it functions. But I don't think it's as close to the originals as I would prefer. So um, hopefully within a couple of years I'll have a new loom and we'll do this again, do it right, and um, and we'll see how that kind of compares. And I'll make it longer too. So and then this one can kind of go on um, as loan or you know if they have a teenager who needs a bright petticoat or someone that's a little bit shorter than me, you know have it as like a loader. But for right now, for what it is, it's going to work really well. It works better than the other one I have. Okay, let's not kill it that bad. Let's not kill it that bad. Yeah, but for what it is, it works better than my previous one, which is still a success in my opinion, because it works better than what I had. But um, that's basically it. And yes, I am wearing my wraparound corset, mostly because the mannequin is otherwise occupied and it's currently wearing my other corset. So um, I thought I guess I do have two 1830s corsets. I could have used the fancy one. I think that one's too big now. I, I think, I don't think I fit into it anymore. Which is sad because I did a lot of embroidery on that. And I don't know if with the embroidery I can take tucks to make it work. I'll have to look into that. But the wraparound corset works just as well. The 1830s corsets don't um, add or subtract to my uh, waist measurement at all. So I can still fit all my dresses no matter which course I'm wearing, whether I'm wearing this one or one of my uh, full corsets. So that's why I chose this one. The other ones are a little bit more comfortable. So it's just easier to get on to. So that, that's that's always a good thing. But back to the but back to the petticoat. I mean there's definitely things like as I mentioned that I would do differently if I had the option, but for what I had and being the first weaving project that I've really done in a very, very long time, and the first one on that loom, I feel like it worked pretty well. And it went pretty quickly. I mean, once I got the hang of it, I could do, um, I think it was 
I think I got down to about 10 inches with, with, um, in an hour. So I could do 10 inches of weaving in an hour and 20 inches of weaving in an hour if I was doing the um, corded part because this took up a lot less time because of course the cords are much thicker and they covered up more space. So like one of these cords is really five rows of my, the normal weaving. So it went a lot faster. So I could do 20 inches in an hour if I was, I think that's what it was, um, if I was doing the corded part and if I was doing the plank part, I could do 10 inches in an hour. So once I sat down and did it, it didn't take me that long. I guess they're 35 inch panels and I only did three of them. That's really two hours per panel and six hours. Um, not including, of course, all the warping we had to do. I think we had to warp it three, three times, three times, three times. And um, just the normal sewing and um, doing of all that. So it did take longer than that. And of course, I wasn't sitting down just for six hours and just weaving. It took a while for me to do it. So um, overall, once I got started, once I had warped it, it didn't take too long. It was just actually sitting down and getting it done. I think I had one of the, the pedal ones, like the real looms. I think those go back, those go by so fast. You can weave really fast on those, so I think this would be a lot shorter of a project had I had one of those. But for what it is, we'll get some close-ups of the cord petticoat for you, and that is basically it. Thank you so much for joining me on this cord and petticoat journey. If you did not see the other videos and would like to explore how the petticoat is made. I will link those below in the description and you can go find those other videos. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. As always, have a fantastic week and I'll see you back here on Monday.